Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lurcy and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about selections. Now what we're talking about in selections is is when you're selecting something within the image generally you're doing it to extract it. For example this model here is on the gray background if instead I wanted her to be on like a pattern or on white we would have to first extract her from this background and that's what we're talking about with extraction and like many things in Photoshop there's a million ways of doing it everybody's got their own preference and um, it's also one of the more difficult things to do to get a good extraction if you look at people's digital work a lot of times and you can tell someone has put somebody on a different background and there's a lot of telltale areas where you'll see the hair doesn't quite look right or it looks jagged and um, so you have gotta get a good selection and there's a couple of different ways to do it, to do it. Um, what I used to always use is the extract tool in Photoshop but uh, CS5 now has a, a new tool that is really good and that's really the main reason I upgraded to the newest version of Photoshop was to get this new tool and it's really good so let me first show you what not to do if we go up here and select the magic wand this is how you'll see a lot of times people doing their extractions they'll take the magic wand and just select the gray area and hit delete and if we look here you can see that it's extracted her and it's taken her out but you've got a lot of gray here showing through still and it's very jagged you're gonna have to go through and clean this up and even if you get rid of a lot of the gray you're still gonna have a really jagged look down here it's gonna be a lot of work cleaning that up afterwards but I'm gonna go ahead and save this and just call it magic wand and we'll come back and compare to this in just a minute back here. Now what I want to do instead is we're going to go to the same spot here on the uh, toolbar and click on this little, uh, you're going to hit W to get up here by the way, and then click on that little arrow right there if I can get it and you'll see you've got the magic wand tool or the quick selection tool. Right now it's set to magic wand and you can tell that because there's these four sets of boxes. And when you go up here to quick selection tool, you should have these three brushes. So if you don't see the three brushes, you know you're you're on the wrong one. Sometimes it happens because you, you go to magic wand by accident. But you can make sure you've got these up here and you're gonna have the the far left one clicked. And all you're gonna have to do at this point, it's gonna make a little brush, and you can use your brackets, which are the keys to the right of the P, uh, the letter P on the keyboard, hit your brackets to make it bigger or smaller. But you're gonna take your little brush here and basically go through here and drag it through the parts of the image that you're wanting to remove or you know pull out of the image and you can see it's gotten us a pretty good selection right here automatically I mean that took you know a second to do that so it's really easy if it accidentally comes in and chops off her arm or something you can go up here to the minus sign and then paint it away and it'll move back and forth. So that's what the plus and minus for is to go back in and fine tune it. But you'll find that the vast majority of the time it selects it perfectly. Now this is a pretty easy sample because I've got her on a, a plain gray background. If she was in front of you know a, a bunch of trees and busy background it'd be much more difficult to pull her out. But I want to start early, basically sh start early, start easy and show you how it works. And then as you become more comfortable with it you can work up to more difficult scenarios to try it on. So we've got our basic selection here which looks not bad it's probably not much worse than we had before but what we're gonna do is go up here and click refine edge which is gonna bring up this palette here. And one of the things you'll notice up here is the view. You've got a lot of different ways you can look at it. You can look at your extracted person on pink, on black, on white. You can do a black on white which is really contrasty and really shows you I like to, to use that a lot of times um, or the on layers because I've actually got white under it already so I can see what it is I'm looking for and I'm going to use the on layers here initially and just kind of look around and make a, a, a mental note let me zoom in just a little well, I can't zoom in here we go zoom in just a tiny bit so I can see these are the areas that I'm worried about obviously the hair the shoulders are going to extract pretty easily so I'm worried about the hair so what I will do is I'm going to switch to white on black. Oops, sorry, black on black and white. There we go. 
for me, that's just easier to see. So I've, I've set up that way. I'm going to come back here to my brush. Now, I'll show you my settings that I've got right now. Um, and you're going to have to toy around with these because it's different for every image. But on this one, I've got the smart radius checked, and my radius is set about 1.7. Down under adjust, I've got the smoothing and the feathering off. You can play around with those. I haven't done a whole lot of experimenting with that. Um, I would just do that gradually. I've got the contrast at 12. Shift edge is basically moving that selection in or out on, on what you've done. I've got it at negative 7, so it comes in just a little bit around it. Contaminate colors is checked. The amount's at 12%. And I've got new layer with layer mask. I did a tutorial on layer masks last week, so you might want to watch that if you don't know what layer masks are. But that's going to give me a lot more flexibility afterwards. So those are the settings I went with. Uh, keep remember settings. And again, there's no right or wrong answer here. I would just say start with this and see how it goes. But get my brush selected, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to, same thing, I can use my brackets to make it bigger or smaller. I'm just going to sort of paint along the edge like this and give it a second. You'll see there it pops up. Now we're starting to see a little more detail. I'm going to do it a little more like that. You see that's giving me a nice, that's a lot more detail than what I was getting before. Now I'm going to come down this side do the same thing. I'm even going to go along the edge of the face just for grins. This should make that hair pop up. There you go. I'm going to go a little bit more on the hair to make sure I've got a really good selection. And there you go. That's showing me. You can see the detail in there that we're getting. I'm going to hit OK. And what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and take this extraction, put it on its own mask, and um, let's turn this on here so we can see it. Okay, so we've got her on white now. Turn it off so we can see the plain white. So there's the, the model. We've taken that gray background out. And let's go in and take a look at how close we got. And you can see um, you've still got all these little stray hairs here, which is much more detail than what we were getting before. If I bring up the Magic Wand copy to compare, and just looking along here, that's what the Magic Wand did. That's what we got using the selection. So you can see a huge difference. So we would go with that. Now the beauty of this is, is it's not going to be perfect. You're still going to have some areas that need to be cleaned up, like right up in here. And all we'll have to do is go onto our mask, get a brush, and paint out the stuff that's, that doesn't look good. But you've got control to come back in and, and clean up just what you want. And so it's much cleaner. I mean, look at all those little stray hairs down there. So. That's a really nice extraction. Again, any extraction is going to need to be cleaned up a little bit afterwards, but but by using this right here, the uh, with the quick selection tool, it's going to get you really close. And it's really nice. Play around with it some, see how it works. It does, you know, like most things in Photoshop, it's got a learning curve to it. And sometimes you're going to do it, and it's just going to look completely strange. You got to go back and uh, tweak your settings a little bit. But you'll find that it will do a lot of these basic selections really quickly for you. I'll show you instead of on the white. Um, if we put her on uh, just some sort of a background here. And you can see you're still getting a little bit of that gray fringe through there. But compared to what we were getting with the magic wand, I mean, that's that would require tons of cleanup. Here we're really close, and, and that didn't take any time at all. If I hadn't been explaining it, I could have done the whole thing in you know, 20 seconds, 25 seconds, or something like that. So it's a really fast way to go through and make your extraction. So give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions, and be sure and check back for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.